Alrighty, hey guys, and welcome back to another stream and YouTube video of Calibrated Gamer. Ah! Jeez, robot. Flipping bright. Uh, anyway. Um, hi. Welcome. We're playing Little Nightmares 2. Part 2. Let's jump back into it. I, I think I turned with brightness. <laughs> I just messed with the settings. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. But hi, everyone. Welcome. I hope you guys are ready. Because I'm not. But it'll be okay. Honestly, to say part one wasn't scary is uh, not true. But <clears throat> not, you know, I mean, like, it, Little Nightmares can only be so scary, right? So I'm... I'm excited to see what new monsters are going to show up after. <laughs> hey, Free. <clears throat> That's so funny. Your brother can see me on uh, PlayStation. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my friend. Oh, so I can move it more left and right. Oh, clever, clever. I was wondering about that. Well, shoot. Figured it out between then and now. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering what to do about the uh, the old lid of that. Um, figured it out. Good I'm wearing a rain hat. <laughs> was that that last hat I was wearing? I feel like bag hat was the last one I was wearing, or even the gnome hat, right? Did I be concerned about this paper boat? And glitch child it is. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. Um. <laughs> God. There's a net reference. I'm gonna scream. I was like, do I need a break? What is this? Looks like a banana. I can't hardly tell what it is. Oh. Oh. <gasps> no way. Holy crap! Are you nine? Is this nine the whole time? Is the friend the main character of the first game? You didn't tell me that? You didn't tell me that at all! Holy crap! You know what that would mean? This is probably a prequel! I assumed that this was a friend I was going to lose and I was going to find Nine and help her after she escaped the mall or something. And I was afraid that I was going to have to deal with Nine kind of being part monster, as we saw, spoilers, at the end of game one. But now I'm thinking this might be more of an origin story for Nine. What if, like, what if we help her escape this monster world to get to the mall, right? And then everything that happened in Little Nightmares 1 takes place. Oh, man. I'm, I'll hold... Uh, just remember what I said about it. Can you, can you um, voice me up here? Would that be a thing you could do? Remember what I said. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling big brain time right now, hundred percent. You know what? Do I've got a, you know what? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> do I ring the bell? Do I let them know uh, we need service? <laughs> I love this game. Now I'm super antsy about it. You lift me up, Nine?
I never know. I don't know if. Are you staying there because you can lift me up? Or are you staying there because. I never know. That's the only issue with that mechanic. Is that like. She doesn't always walk over first to like. You know. Show that she can lift me up. Like, yeah, see, sometimes she'll walk, if I walk away, she'll walk away, so sometimes it's like, I don't know if I'm doing the correct thing or not. See, big brain, open, thinking, because that is 100% the same rain jacket that Nine wears, doesn't necessarily mean that she's Nine, but the entire purpose of... The reasoning that, you know, in the trailers, they showed this kid that you play as with the bag hat helping nine. Now, again, doesn't necessarily have to be nine. We're only exact same raincoat. But the idea is that, you know, the design was so specific, you know. There, because it's a moot, because it's a mute game. They're, they're, come on, let me buy then. Because it's a mute game, there'd be no way for us to confirm whether or not she was nine or not. So from a storytelling perspective, it, she'd have to be, you know? Like, they wouldn't choose the exact same raincoat and then be like, oh, it's not nine. Because, like, how would they tell? You just got skewed. All right. Well, I think that's the end of chapter two. Uh, so we are in... Brand new territory. Oh god, are we in a hospital? Oh god. I turned up the brightness and I'm glad. Wherever the heck we are is significantly darker. Who was? Like, I'm having trouble seeing. I know when the recording is on the YouTube channel, it'll be darker than that. But this is like one level higher than the default. And I had turned it way darker than the default in the first episode. Like, help me up. Come on, nine. Do you about this? Yeah, that makes sense. Have to see. That guy doesn't seem to be. What? Am I pulling at the bars? Damn. I have yet to unlock the flashlight. Not required per se. Oh, I can just put... Wasn't paying attention to the bars and how they were leaning. Okay. Glad I was holding down the grab button. Holy crap. What kind of hospital is this? So whatever's wrong with this monster world. I say a monster world, it's our world. <laughs> Big brain. Whatever's wrong with our world, which does have monsters in it and human children and no human adults as far as I've ever seen. Um, that, damn it, my death perception is awful in this game. Um. Yeah, that's all where she jumped. Uh, here we go. Thank you for the infinite lives. I almost still jumped the wrong way. It's, it's the scary kind of hospital. Exactly. Hey, Zero. How's it going? Crap. Press the wrong button. <laughs> oh, Wally is raiding. Thank you so much. Why didn't my alert go off? I guess I don't have an alert for rating. Oh, no, wait. Well, got an alert for following. Thank you so much for following, and thank you so much, Wally, for rating. How you been, bud? I know we were just talking earlier, and I know um, you had your own stream going. Aw, thank y'all for following. You certainly don't have to do that. <laughs> you don't even know me. I could be a terrible person. I could be a serial killer. You wouldn't know. 
Um, oh, y'all are so kind. <laughs> Thank you so much for following and becoming a pro bro or pro girl today. Be sure to check out the YouTube channel if you want to stay calibrated. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. That's what I would, um, say back in the day. Uh, I find now that the most professional thing I can do is literally just being chill. But, um, I do very much appreciate it. Oh! Oh, I hated this mechanic in the first game. They give you these, like, little power cords, but they're also little lights. So then the game feels like all of a sudden, Oh, we can drop them in total darkness. And they won't be able to complain. And I hate that mechanic. <laughs> I gotta read chat. Ray time, ray time, ray time, ray time. Oh, this is so wholesome. Yeah, appreciate it. You turn out to be a terrible person. That's when we unfollow. Yeah, true. <laughs> too kind, too kind. Okay. No, 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 nine, 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 nine. <laughs> I was saying no, I was not saying your name. Now come on, nine. Oof. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. You you can twitch out later. Okay, okay. Is that too loud on <laughs> Let me know if the ugh. This is pretty much total darkness, so you're not As long as you can still see what's going on, then I won't bother turning up the brightness from basically the default. But let me know if it's too dark to see. Or if the game's too loud, I, I can't really hear. I can hear it. I just can't hear what y'all are hearing. I have my flashlight. Hey, what the heck? Hello? God, it's Outlast all over again. This time, I'm much smaller. Audio and brightness is good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it, unfortunately, this is a very dark portion. The idea is that we're not supposed to see until the last second. Thing I can't walk. Oh, no, no, no. I just realized something. Okay, so... I don't know if this is true. I had a big brain moment earlier. Um, where I came to the realization... So, you see how uh, this character behind us is Nine. All right, not trying to shine the light in your face. This is Nine from Little Nightmares 1. Um, but... We've been running with this character for a while now. And she only just now found that rain jacket and she only just now put it on. It was not a thing of like, I knew I was playing with nine the whole time. It was this crazy realization at the end of chapter two of like, holy crap, she's nine. She's been nine this whole time. Uh, the, the main character from Little Nightmares 1. Which makes me think that this is a prequel. And what's worse about that is, is that something is wrong with nine in Little Nightmares 1 that's never explained where she basically has these, like, moments of, like, tucking over in pain, um, which also cause her to become extremely hungry and um, longing for power and whatever nonsense issue is. In this game, there's these things called glitch kids, and you can find them in corners of rooms and stuff, and when you interact with them, they do something to our main character here. Problem is... They cause him to wince over in pain with almost the exact same animation that Nine had in Little Nightmares 1. Not saying that this is a prequel, but I'm almost positive it is. And I'm almost positive whatever's happening with the TVs and the glitch kids and whatever is going to be directly correlated with Nine's issues in the first game. <sighs> Interesting, yeah. It, it is it is quite interesting but we'll see how correct I am um um later I I know that's the correct way I need to go and I know I need to throw that can on the button on the wall but I also trying not to miss things okay flashlight camera flipped on me
That's fine. Let's just run in the dark. Come on, nine. That's a neat tie-in. Yeah, I hope so. Like, I mean, well, like, when we saved this little girl and we're running with her and she was our friend, I never once considered she was nine. We've never seen nine's face because of the rain jacket, right? So, like... But, I mean, that's 110% what nine looks like. I think, I think it'd be really cool if they, uh made this game the prequel and then just didn't I mean there was just no way you can know until you start guessing it's the prequel and then eventually it's like oh crap this is how she ended up on the mall because there's that TV again oh no now I'm like fizzing and phasing because I've had all those interactions with the glitch kids also please tell me these are mannequins and not headless monsters? Ew, I think they're monsters that have amputated legs and necks and arms and junk. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, I promise it will all make sense and... Well, it won't ever make sense. But... I promise I know what I'm doing here. Oh, well, I thought I did. Oh man, every time I think I'm lining it up properly. There we go. So those eye doors are a huge part of the first game. In fact, the way this wooden this metal wood the way this metal floor is very much reminds me of the mall, which is in the first game is the entire location, this like floating island submarine ship thing that Nine finds herself on, and she's trying to escape. I wondered, from game one to game two, how she was going to escape the mall, like, you know, fully, because at the end of the game, she's, like, on top of the mall, but the mall is, like, nowhere near civilization, right? It's just in the middle of the ocean. Um, but it would make more sense, right, if this was a prequel, if slowly but surely our destination is the mall. And if slowly but surely, this kid doesn't make it. What would be really cool is if this kid was the other kid from the first game. There was DLC that you got to play it as a separate kid and got to experience the story from another side. If this was the same kid, that would be crazy. But that would also be awful and sad because, spoiler alert, um, literally like mute me for two seconds if you don't want the spoiler. Like, I'm serious, major spoiler for the first game. Um, so like, mute me, and I will like, give you a, I'll wave my arms when I'm done, right? Okay, so mute me now, if you don't want to hear the spoiler for game one. Okay, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, nine. <laughs> has this terrifying hunger that causes her to eat dead rats and other things and gnomes and then a young boy who <laughs> is just a random kid that's in the first game and it's like oh man that's depressing that's awful but it turns out when you play the dlc this random kid is the kid you're playing as in the dlc on the other side of the story so his story ends with her like eating him or whatever if i remember correctly but what if these are the kids? What if he wasn't random at all? What if the reason he was being helpful and friendly to her was because he knew her? You know, he the game starts out with both of them in different parts of the mall. What if they just got separated? And then their story ends gruesomely. That would that'd be a whole nother layer of like suck on the on the awful sandwich that was the ending of that first game. And I love it if that's the case. But these are all just Theories, game theories. Also, hi, Yusha, I saw you. I just was on a roll. Um, hi, could it be? I actually caught the home, my homie, the Calibrate Gamer streaming. Oh my gosh. What time is it there? Because it is, <laughs> we have very different time zones. Um, oh no. Okay, you are still very much human. 
<laughs> oh, teddy bear with a key in it. Oh. 7.05 p.m. Oh, that's not bad. Granted, I am streaming like 1 o'clock p.m. on a lazy Sunday, so... Aw. Adorable. I hate its... I know it's because of a game glitch, but I hate its twitchy leg. Come on, Mr. Stuff's a lot. Time for surgery. Currently playing chess with my girlfriend. <laughs> She's thinking real hard. <laughs> Hi, Corn. Is it Corn Dog? That's a hilarious username. Hi, Corn Dog. Thanks for following. I'm becoming Frobo Coco today. Yada yada. Check out the Calibrate Archives. Hey, guys, do me a huge favor. Okay. Well, Mr. Bear doesn't have something in it, but that literally has an axe handle in it. Um, hi, Nine. Can I borrow that for a second? Can I, can I take that from you? How does, how does one... Okay. You're, you're smarter than me. I said that earlier. Aw. Thank you so much, Moon, for host. Everyone's here. I didn't think anyone was going to watch, because where I am, it's just a lazy Sunday afternoon. But I guess none of y'all had anything better to do. Thank you, Moon! Oh, you guys are the best. This is, like, turning out to be the best episode ever. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, I've got two YouTube channels. One that used to post Let's Plays, but doesn't anymore, but now posts gaming video essay videos. Like, um, video essays of, like, reviews of games. I've only posted one, but I also have some, um streams i did charity streams with game developers from telltale's the walking dead and the telltale remake of the sam and max season one game so those videos are out there super cool that i got to like you know have like a call and play the game with those creators i was like wow this is nuts uh but anyway let me check this I'm gonna have to break these if they have the items I need, but I don't know how to do that. I want to take that item from her, wouldn't let me. Um, okay. But, uh, the second link is my brand new channel that literally just started the other day. Yeah, that's something in there. And, um, it's the Calibrated Archives. And that link there will show both links. Um, but... You should go check out the Calibrate Archives, because I'm going to start posting five videos a day as of tomorrow. Um, and it's only got 30 subscribers right now, and I could use all the help I could get, <laughs> to be quite frank. Um, I just woke up, and this is the first thing I've done all day. That's great. Well, this definitely has something in it, and that definitely has something in it. So what if we take it up the stairs and just chuck it down the stairs or something? Also, is this an elevator? Oh... Not a fan of automatic elevators. Never seen one, not a fan. Um, it's good to have y'all here, shoot. So yeah, again, to reiterate, Calibrate Gamer is the channel that's doing special videos. Calibrate Archives is Let's Plays and these streams. So you can watch part one of this, oh, uh, I get it. You can watch part one of this little nightmare stream um, on that channel which my buddy uh, Melomaki did right before this stream. <laughs> I hear like, maybe I shouldn't walk into like boiling hot furnace stuff, right? Oh. Why am I in here? I threw that in for the purpose of the axe stuff, right? But I heard a noise like something crying in pain. Uh, I am very confused. Probably be if I had my flashlight, right? See a hand. Uh, don't think I didn't notice the hand. I was, I was, I was trying to ignore it. Okay, so 
So we burnt those toys that we had, which 110% makes me feel like we shouldn't have done that. But, I mean, the game let us do it with effectively no consequences. So... I'm going to assume that it's okay that we did that. But then I thought once the toys burned, maybe we could get the items inside. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. Were we supposed to burn those things? You need to grab more toys? Hey, Mello. You don't have to chat. You're more than welcome to lurk. I uh, I just wanted to give you a shout out for <laughs> watching the other channel. Okay. Well, I guess... Onward and upwards, as I always say. It's hilarious, because I never say that. <laughs> and uh, there's this episode uh, called Vanish <clears throat> that's going up either this next Sunday or the Sunday after that. An old horror game that I played that Markiplier played, uh, not his early days, but earlier. And like, when he did, he had trouble with the game. And I beat it, like, on the first try, so I was, like, so proud of myself and so stoked. Um, hate these toys. <laughs> hate these fluffy toys. So gross. Point is that I beat Vanish on my second try in one to go uh, on the second try. And so I was watching that episode uh, as I was editing videos and stuff. And then um, in the game, I'm like, Onwards and upwards, I always say. Uh, and you, what? You think I don't say that? Of course I do. You should watch more of my videos. Blah, blah, blah. What are in these toys? I'm going to assume... Oh, that's a key. You've got a key. I don't know what Bun Bun has. That key won't melt in the furnace, ideally. So I guess back down we go. Um, yeah. But, um... Now I'm going to start saying onwards and upwards, I always say. That's so... That really early episode of my show... Uh, has validity. Alright. Well, I'm stuck in the bars. So chuck these toys in. Hopefully there won't be any more screaming. No! Jesus Christ, don't throw me in there! Sorry. Had a panic attack. So ideally... There's no way I should be able to walk right into this thing immediately after and not be like... third degree burns, you know? I feel like whatever that puzzle was, was the purpose was to get the key. So I'm gonna assume that the toy room is all good. Which is actually hilarious now that I think about it. I didn't think about the fact that that toy room is still inside the hospital. Which means that it's literally just for monster kids. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just a part of, like, so that the kids don't get bored. You would put them in there while they're waiting or whatever. Or, like, after their little surgery, you can put them in there. I'm pulling my legs. Okay. Oh, I... I work without the uh, words anyway not a fan of all the amputee bodies not a fan of needing the cores did I go back for that other core I had I was like did that kill me um the door up there but I probably <laughs> I probably glanced around before jumping off a flat stairs. All right. I love the hold hands with nine mechanic. I think that's like the horrible thing. Yet. Oh, yeah, cool. <clears throat> good, good, good. There's, I guess there's really no... Oh, God. I guess there's no reason to backtrack unless I know for a fact there's... A this all seems like um, prosthetic limbs. Like everything about it is not gross and monstery and gooey ooey. It's all plastic, you know? Doesn't make it any less creepy. Combined with the fact, yeah, because you can see the screws in that person's legs. Combined with the fact that I am terrified of mannequins. 
and you've got recipe for a fun little segue the next here. Not a fan of the hook hand. Would be the purpose of the hook hands very variant to the oh, 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 compared to the other ones. Love that duck though. Nice duck. I like that boulder. That's a nice boulder. Got it right now. This is like the most I can see of this kid's face. It's kind of creepy. What's alien? <clears throat> oh, there's definitely, uh, besides the busted window, there's definitely some sort of flickering light in there. God, one of these times I'm gonna flip around and one of the, why is, the headless, legless body strapped down to the table. Why would that be required? Is that why? It was the hand, the hand, the hand. Holy crap, are these people's limbs leaving them? Is that why they had to replace them with the prosthetics? Something happened and caused their limbs? And phalanges and other tidbits to get a mind of their own. I don't want to open that freaking box. I was worried about mannequins. I wasn't worried about hands. Now I am. Now I'm quite concerned about hands. Whew. What'd you lose? Okay, you lost your little prosthetic pick. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ew. Ew, you move so fast. It's like a spider. What would cause you to act that way? Oh, oh, can you climb? Oh, he can climb. Oh, God. I figured that would kill me. Oh, God, that's terrifying. Holy crap. Oh, no. I don't like that mechanic. I couldn't remember the run button. I kept holding the grip button thinking it was the run button. Then I got a little bit better control. God, I hate that. No! No! What's to prevent it from following me? What's to prevent other things from now officially attacking? Nothing. Short answer. Nothing at all. Up in the vents. A tarantula and Animal Crossing, but a hundred times worse. Yeah, imagine you end up on an island with just a bunch of severed hands. It's in the fence. I just need a bat. Where's a bat when you need one? Yeah, I definitely don't need to crawl. So, so I notice a lot of these things have areas you can crawl under, which. It's for the hand, it ain't for me. God. Why'd you scurry off that way? Are you a separate hand? Oh! Hammer. Okay, it, it can auto-jump if it's close enough. Cool. I should have assumed. <laughs> My bad. 
Also should have grabbed this hammer first chance. Oh, it can avoid attacks. Hate that. Hate that for me. Oh, gross. It doesn't die in one hit like those porcelain kids did. Oh, you gotta break its bony little hand. God, I hate this. I hate this whole mini boss nonsense. I hate that it jumps back away from you. God. Now I know I can't just swing willy nilly because it's going to get faster and faster. God, I hate everything about this. All right, come at me. Bring it. Yeah, I could do that too. I am the monster. I'm the thing you should be scared of. That's right. Fear me. Hey. And I'm terrified. Boom! Really gonna have to let it do that thing. That's the better one. Ew. Oh god. It like rolled up like a spider would. God, I hate that. I love it. It's awesome. But let me look at it. That looks like an actual monster hand. It doesn't look like the prosthetics. It didn't move like the prosthetic. Moved like an actual physical hand. Which would explain why they're overloaded here with prosthetic classic limbs, right? But th what's terrifying is, is that heads are missing. Legs, feet, arms, hands, heads. Not a fan. Not a fan of none of it. Not, not really. Not truly. I'll bust that open with the uh, the hammer, which I wouldn't have been able to do and survive the hand at the same time if I was trying to like, you know, do thing both things at the same time, right? Let's give him a hand. I need. I, I just realized that I don't have a sound effect for, uh, for um like a laugh track. I just realized in my brain that's exactly the next sound effect that I need. Oh. Fine. Doing? Oh, she was awful. That's not ideal. He was breaking the fingers off that prosthetic. For fun. Alright, girly, we'll... We'll follow up and talk about that one later. Is that another core? Did I have two though? Where did that one come from? No, 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 no. I don't like that. Where did that one come from? I don't remember having two. I remember having one of them. Makes me not even want to check this area now. Where did that second one come from? I, I, I do not remember. I do not remember having two cores at my disposal. Now with the second core, I could go in there. I'm having trouble... putting my brain on where I need to be and what's a bonus. You know what I mean? Like, I want to do the bonus stuff first. It's awful. Bad idea. Bad, bad, bad. I'll just explore it all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Body standing up on its own accord. Oh, God. It's moving with the light. 
Oh, hell no. No! Oh! 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 Oh, it's like weeping angels, but almost worse somehow. Oh, no! Oh, God, I hate that mechanic. Not a fan of that. Oh, and its hand is in the light. So that's why it was staying still frozen or whatever. There's a light in that room. Keeping it still. Oh, God, are you telling... If I shine the light on the hand, would it have stopped moving? For one. Probably not. But for two, more importantly, with these body things... Does that mean the dudes in the lobby are all enemies? And I just haven't, like... Activated them yet? See, this guy... Appears to be dead dead. Unless he's gonna start chasing me down the hall as soon as these dudes are activated or whatever. Do I wanna not shine a flashlight on them as I go by? If I don't alert them? Do I want to 110% shine a flashlight on them? What differentiates... Nice butt. And they walk so fast, too. What differentiates which ones are, like, alive and not? Oh, God. Now you know why I hate mannequins. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is mannequins. Oh, no. That one. That one looks funny. They all... I know it. Oh God. Oh shoot. Oh. I hate that. Why am I here? Why am I here? I came here because I was hoping for bonus stuff. Yeah, frickin' how do I aim my flashlight? Two things! Holy crap! Ah! I don't want to be here anymore. I'm actually terrified. I don't want to be here anymore. I gotta get the light on. straight bronze oh. oh god Jesus criminy criminy freaking and frack how even I gotta get far enough and flip around oh my gosh <laughs> Holy crap. Back of the mannequins. Love me. Yeah, I gotta flip around. Ugh, how do you do that? I don't want to flip around. Can I? Can I rotate my camera while I'm running? Well, let's try something. Hardly. Thanks for awkward controls too. Okay, that's better, actually. When the dudes show up, the character actually kind of like slows down a little bit. I just need to like find them, right? My 
light doesn't go out. Oh man, that mechanic sucks! Right. Get lighted on. I like the ones with the heads are safest. Why did my light immediately go to you? This is like a whole nother thing. It's not even my fear of mannequins anymore. I don't know what it is anymore, but I'm not a fan. Oh, it's like a, it's like a extension of my fear of mannequins. The hand gonna come out of the toilet. Surprise. Very dark in here. Don't think I didn't immediately. Ah. Now, why would you turn off your flashlight? Any, oh Jesus! Oh, criminy, criminy. Okay, I was literally just about to say it's like any um, maximum security prison, right? You just have to stay as close to the middle as possible. But uh, okay. Woo, all right. But that one was more like a. Uh, Low walking maze. Ah, the fan. These are prosthetic limbs, which means they're probably attached to the bodies. No. I was I have light was on you. I would like a minute. What is happening? Oh god, what an awful checkpoint. I can just bolt. Got it. <laughs> I don't need to crawl, but bolting was also not the right way to go. Okay. Go. My freaking death perception is so bad in this game. just for the sake of uh, understanding where I am first and everything else. No! Flashlight mechanics, difficult.
Oh. I would. Please give me. Ch oh my god. Give me a checkpoint on top of the bed or something. The heck, game. What the heck? No. No good place for a checkpoint. You don't want to be it. You don't want a section to be too difficult or too frustrating, though. That's a recipe for. Uh, that's a recipe for uh, frustration. If you deal with too much frustration, then it becomes more of a thing of like. If it's too much frustration, then it's like more of a thing of like. Uh, to see light um if if a horror section becomes too frustrating and dying is too easy then it takes away from the stairs which that part did not but i'm just saying if that had been the case I don't want you wheeling after me. And it may have to still. Use. Not a fan of touching any of these things. Do I have to do what I think I have to do? I have to turn the light back out. Bucks. I was a bed man. They have that really stupid mechanic. I'm shining my light directly at you. straight it dunked on I'm like all kinds of stress lights gonna cut out but thank you game for not being that uh, rude to me oh god All that just to get to this flipping room. Why the camera get so lopsided? Throw the ball at the button or pull the old lever first. Gotcha. I figured it was when I said that, I realized no wait, this is a fan. I 
let me take this right the frick back out. Screw those guys in that whole area. Holy crap. I don't think I need this. Unless I need another core. If that thing is a working core that was over there, right? Then I didn't have to do any of that. I don't think it is. But I want to try something. No, there was a core over here, wasn't there? I could have sworn I saw a core over here. Man, I really wish I had a way to rewind or show that in the YouTube video. I'm almost positive there was another core that I saw. But now I'm, I am can't be sure. I remember even thinking, I bet I have to use this in lieu with another one and I probably need a third core is what I was thinking. That was terrifying. I loved it. Loved every second of it. <laughs> what can I say? When it comes to horror, I'm going to say this. Mascus? Not a fan of this, though. Definitely understanding the flashlight mechanic more. Doesn't make it, doesn't mean I like it more. I also don't expect these things to chase me as much with nine here, but no guarantee on that. Okay. Hold it back, nine. Nine. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a two for one sale. Thank you, nine. What if it goes after my friend? Really glad I'm the only one this game is concerned about. Get another hit on that one. Ruin the hands for my worries. That's hilarious. Trust me, ain't worried about no hands no more. I think those are their actual faces. Because those are the kind of faces that the monsters have. I wonder if they're plastic because of how hollow and whatever looking they are. Faces start chasing me, I'm gonna scream. I'm just warning everyone now. Just warning. Something. What is that? What is that? What the hell is that? Oh! We find the doctor. We did. 
Ew, I hate the way he crawls on the ceiling. That's flippin' terrifying. So we just gotta get past him. Not a fan. How is he crawling on the ceiling while he's so fat? Not really sure where his view site is, right? You can kind of hide in the shadow. Best to have the monsters not see you, but Lord knows. I don't want to move quite yet. <laughs> Sorry. Besides the fact that it's fascinating to watch him crawl on the ceiling, like a like a beetle. reason for him to come in here, right? <gasps> I'm so deathly quiet. I know it. I, I, I realize. Not super crazy entertaining right now. Uh, that the Rosa? Oh my god, there's blocks over there. Why can't Nine hoist me up and I press the button with my little hands? So. And I hate it. No guarantee that he won't flip around any second. And I gotta grab a toy. Will nine do it? My toy is vibrating. My heart is palpitating. What nonsense is this? Ew, I hate his hair lip. Yep, I know it. Oh no! Okay, he. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be a bit braver, you know. Also, I couldn't remember the button, so I pressed the jump button, which obviously is not the button. So, they done on my part. Get out of my way. Gotta go and gotta throw the button. Throw it at the button.
Well. Hope nine's okay. Doesn't look this bad. Ow. Get out of here. Gotta get out of here now. And you're so much smarter than me. Yep. <laughs> Please tell me we're almost out of this hellhole. Hellhole hospital. That's how he gets around. Not a fan. He's a guy that crawls around on the ceiling, you know? What if there's bodies in here? In this room? How if I deal with him and the mannequin? I can't put but maybe I can pull that. <clears throat> oh Jesus, no. Oh, what an awful mechanic. I knew it the second I saw it. Yeah. Because if they want me to deal with mannequins, they don't want me to deal with nine at the same time. Flashlight. The room's mostly bright. The room's mostly bright, so I mean, in a sense, it's safe, right? I could cut out any time. I might need the light to cut out for mechanic purposes. I need to stay on this dude's face. But I need that. Jump across to it. Right now it's just a cadaver lab like puzzle. And hey, I'm okay with that. Liam, I uh. The deformed toes, everything, so great. You love the theme. I saw it, I just, I always jumped further, far enough to the right. Oh. Okay. I... Quite getting. I wasn't quite waiting until the last second on that. I don't feel like I'm safe yet. Or what this game leads me to believe. Ian. I forgot I've got a call function. Call my friend over. Okay. Yeah, through that whole nonsense I said about the game not being scary. I didn't say that, but like, I was like, oh, well, part one wasn't bad. 
I knew part two would get worse. Knew it. As well as flipping terrifying. Just flip like actually you stomach and knots on it. Not nearly as bad as like not nearly as bad as something like Resident Evil. Regardless. I'd rather deal with this guy, to be quite honest. You, I love him. <laughs> See the core thing. His head was clipping through the wall. Shine my light on. What do you saw of that thing? Oh. See a thing I can go in. That's a dude that's actually, actually alive. Probably the only patient that's still alive in the whole hospital. Dodger trying to keep him. Understand. Nine, go for it. As long as he's got some for air. Okay. Nine, you moron. Oh my gosh. I know the gate would have alerted him anyway, but holy crap. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was an instant death. Wow, I love it. I love it. Cancel it out for a second.
Oh, Joe is mad at night. Right, though. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap, Nine, you beast. I'm doing it to survive. I think you're doing it for fun. Wow, Nine. She's a loo girl. You got problems. her being so fine with it and like love it but I'm just on edge about the hospitals that's everything about that was like infinitely worse than everything else I had to deal with before now I doubt it'll be raining outside Regardless of if the mannequins are still a thing, about to be in light again. <laughs> So somber. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, worry about nine. I'm still so tense and on edge from everything we've just been through. Thinking about how this correlates to the first game. They like a little somber. I'm taking off. There's rain. It's going to be a recurring theme now that she's got her rain jacket. I'm also looking for glitch guns. Uh, in case... In case it was weird that I keep, like, veering off the obvious path. Because you can't really see them until you're on a... You're upon them. Also, uh... Sewer drain? Go down to the sewers? Oh, yeah. Good. Mission. Gross. 
So I get a secret ending if I get all the glitch kits, apparently. Which means I'm afraid, uh, I'm thinking, I'm gonna have to beat these episodes, see the, you know, ending, and then get the true ending after I find all the other kids. Doubt that there's anything for kids. <laughs> That's just for fun. But that whole area, I basically went everywhere I knew was there. Nothing felt like bonus, you know? I mean, all just get out survive it's a very it was a very different feeling for the first area of the game very much like it's all you can you know this guy's a goofball second part of the game was like well a little bit combative but nothing you can't handle that part, third part of the game i felt genuinely helpless at it's just a very different feeling also What is up with all the suits without bodies? What is up with all the bodies that moved on their own accord? What fell over there? So much to unravel. That's the thing, is like... God, I think there's... Bodies being dumped out of the buildings? regular monster what is happening what kind of affliction are they dealing with that's causing these things to happen the mall showed monsters at the height of society like forging themselves you know not a care in the world this is showing very much the opposite Going death and bear and I wanted to see what was that was, but I uh heard that thing go. It didn't have a face. Oh Try to get into the nearest television set. Plug this. Can I unplug this? Nope. Oh, something's happening with the TVs. Not just a weird theme choice, it's like directly correlated with why we're not seeing any of the kids, what's happening to all the monsters here. Probably what happened in 9. Something's already off about 9, but... interact with that TV without dying. I also don't think... I'm gonna touch it. I know that takes me out of the moment, but... Oh! They got the sonic power! Don't make contact with them. Got it. It was their t I mean, literally directly related with the way the TVs were causing other things to act. It doesn't seem like they're gonna notice me. Make contact with. Them. Funny mechanic. 
I... Seems like pulling this out of the wall is the thing to do. I gotta do more. I, I thought it I thought it'd be funny if I had to unplug the TV for someone to come check on it or whatever. What's wrong with them? I love it. Let me unplug the outlet. I wanna see what would happen if the TV's off. Bathtub watching the TV. Play why it's plugged into the next room. Dragged it over. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Nine. Thanks for leaving me. Oh no! Bud nine doesn't count as a death. Oh no! Well, hi nine. How'd you get over there? <laughs> How are they gonna account for? So confused. She's supposed to be with me, so hopefully she'll uh spawn in soon. Funny. Totally broke the game. I think she can end up over there via this. Kind of makes sense that she's there, but not really. That's so funny. That's the call of the elevator. Hey, Zero. It's good to have you. You're good. Don't worry about it. You know, I don't mind if people lurk, I don't mind if they have to go do things, etc. But it's good to have you back. It has been good. Did you get to see all the uh, terrifying um, moving bodies in the hospital and like all that stuff? I don't know when you left. Um, flipping terrifying mechanics all around. Of, like mannequins that could only move the dark and... Not mannequins. That implies that they didn't have some monster to them. The torsos were monster. The heads, arms, hands, etc. were not prosthetics. And then, hands were attacking me. I mean, that was the before party and the after part. And then I had to deal with the giant monster that crawled on the ceiling. And he was the doctor. Oh, I think I get the mechanic. I can't get it. I don't get it. Do we want to be on top of the elevator? Like a bad idea. Thankfully, I missed most of the really frightening stuff, right? It was terrifying. And I flipping awful. Like, genuinely, I was, yeah, I, I was saying in the stream that, like, 
it was the first time I felt genuinely terrified from this game. Um, like, the whole first part, dealing with the first two monsters, was like, had tense moments, but nothing that, like, filled me with fear, right? Very different, you know? Like, stress, not fear. That whole uh, third area had me terrified. Now, look! Radio tower, TV, TV satellite, you know? That's what's causing the TVs to act all funky. That's what's causing the monsters to act so weird. We want to help them? Like, no, but... So the monsters, uh, we're now coming across actual living monsters that can't stop staring at the TVs. And if it's anything like that monster we saw in the hospital, you didn't see it. The monster that I saw in the hospital. Bats. Of course, because the only animal we've actually seen in this game series are rats. Um. So yeah, there's this, uh, these monsters won't stop staring at their television sets. And there was this dude in the hospital with a light coming from his bedroom. And it made me think... Why would there be a light coming from behind his curtain? And I, I know you didn't get to see it, but he was in a hospital bed, right? And there was a curtain covering him, but there was a light from his bed, from his person, that was causing his shadow to be casted on the curtain so we could see his figure. And he was barely breathing, and his, like, life support thing was, like, clicking away. And it was the only... Um, only patient in the hospital that was still a living monster. Well, when we unplugged something, turned it off, he started dying. Well, I'm thinking, what if what we unplugged was a TV set? Which would explain the light, right? And then... Can you help me up? I don't know what to do to trigger you to stand in a corner. Um... Like, what if that TV was keeping the dude alive? Um, which would explain why these other monsters are so obsessed with the TV. Like, literally, I was walking past monsters, and they weren't interacting with me at all. They didn't hear me. They couldn't see me. Um, but they, uh, if I touched them, they let out this scream that caused me to, like, fall down dead. That had the exact same kind of glitch effects that we've been seeing with the glitch kids. That are also directly related to the TV. So like. Definitely. I thought the TV thing was kind of a weird. Addition to this game. But it's definitely the center theme. I'm wondering. How it's affecting the children. And how it's affecting the monsters. That's different. Lots of interest. Yeah. Quite interesting. We make our own ladders. Huzzah! Onward! To adventure! Huzzah! Probably gonna see more of those monsters staring at the TV. Yeah, I was shining lights at them. I was throwing cups. I was like running past them. They didn't notice me. And then I bumped into one of them and he flipped around and like killed me. Oh. Careful. Oh no. Is this whole place coming down? Oh. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah. No doorknob. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> Sounds like a lot of cool things to think about. I think so too. Okay, I see. Why is this building collapsing? What is up with the giant... What's up with the giant cracks in the ground? What's up with the buildings falling apart? Now I'm gonna 
Did nine get collapsed? Oh god. We're gonna realize there's something wrong with her. Did my flashlight just seriously break? You okay? Can she walk? Okay. What if she like can't lift me anymore or something like that? That'd be crazy. Seems fine. So flashlight is no longer a mechanic I have. So for me. I actually like it when there's one less mechanic to worry about, usually. So now, think about it. Game one, this eye imagery was everything. It turns out that the lady of the mall watching everyone. So it was related to that, right? So I thought it was just reference to Little Nightmares 1. Now I'm wondering if it's what's happening here because when we go into the TV, we see the exact same eye imagery. Not to mention, uh, I didn't want to mention this, that shadowy man looking there. I think there's something going on with that. Yeah, the flashlight. Totally don't have it anymore. But um, the, uh, the image of... I don't know if you can even see it. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap to scene one. I'm sorry, it's gonna reshow the intro. It's hard to tell because I've cropped it in such a way. You see that tall building in the background? That's not a building. Those are hands behind um behind nine and our main little character. He's standing in front of a building, and on top of that building is a bright red light which we've now realized is the TV studio, right? But that towering figure, I think is the man behind everything. Uh, I think we're gonna learn more about him super soon. Give me a cake, weird. Certainly affecting the kid. That's wild. Right? Exactly where it wants to be. There we go. Here we are again. I think the third time. I can't ever get close enough to the door. Door with the eye. First we've ever gotten. The man. The man in the yellow hat. Oh my god, he has Curious George. TV didn't break this time. What? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I didn't think we'd be dealing with them this soon. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm so quiet and in awe. So flippin' terrified. He's literally warping reality around me. Everything's slowing down. Holy crap.
a really tall man. He's like, like the most human looking out of all the monsters. No, nine! Nine! Yeah, zero. Uh, the, 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 the positives of these games is it can be... For the reason, I got really quiet, really alarmed. Because I've been collecting glitch kids this whole game. Didn't know what caused them. Didn't know why it was showing kids just being kids doing normal kid things when they're being found. Sometimes they might be hiding, sometimes they might be crying. You know, sometimes they may be looking for something. But I just saw a glitch kid remnant of nine right there makes me think what if the monsters aren't supposed to be here what if the monsters weren't monsters at all what if they were humans but more importantly the thing that i'm thinking about is what if the reason there's the glitch kids because this thing through televisions stole them stole all the kids of this world or at least of this area, I don't know. Even if the monsters are real, even though even if the monsters do exist in this world, regardless of humans and children and whatever. Definitely been happening to all the human kids. The reason why we haven't seen any other human kids is because of this guy. Saw that. You were shocked. Yes, I was I was had to had to let my brain process. I definitely recommend playing these games. They aren't nearly as scary as most horror games uh, because of the cute art style, because of the fact that a lot of the scary moments take place with a hide mechanic that's like very easy to learn. You just be patient, you know? There are certain parts that are truly scary, like the stuff where you're like in the dark and it's like you don't quite know what to do next. Um, but besides that, it's usually not that bad. Um, plus, the lore of these games are so, like you said, intriguing that, like, <laughs> oh, what even, what a great mechanic. And Little Big, Little Big Planet, Little Nightmares 1 didn't have quite the, the same puzzles that this game has. This game's puzzles are a little bit more out there, which I love, uh, but... Both are puzzle games, you know, at their core. PC? It is on PC. I've I played both on the PlayStation 4, but I think they're available to PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox. I think not Switch, but I think they will be. Maybe a little bit let me maybe both of them came to Switch. Definitely on you know definitely would be on the PC. Holy crap. This whole thing has been just a big ol' brain blast. And I'm still 100% convinced that this is a prequel to Little Nightmares 1. Uh, honestly, Zero, you plan on playing this game? I'd recommend not watching my playthrough. You know what I mean? I'd recommend you... Playing Little Nightmares 1 on your own and playing Little Nightmares 2 on your own. Granted, I mean, you can do whatever you want. That's weird. So, there's a huge delay. Oh, yeah, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I know for some of the users, uh, Twitch, you know, delay is worse than others. Um... So, 
We've seen a lot of these suits just without the bodies in it, right? See, I don't know. Okay. Thing I'm mentioning is the fact that, like, I've got a remote now. So now I've got, like, TV access. Crazy. Um, what a great mechanic. What a hilarious mechanic, quite honestly. Anyway, um, yeah, now I'm wondering if it affects monsters and humans differently. The children seem to be fully kidnapped, leaving a glitch remnant behind. But there's a lot of monsters that seem to have been, like, left behind, you know what I mean? I are not left behind. Left behind is the book series where, like, everyone ascends to heaven, right? Leaving behind their clothes. And then a few people are left behind. It's like that. Where, you know, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like they just ceased to exist on this plane of reality, right? I'll check this out for sure. But I gotta go for today. Yeah, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. God bless, man. Have a good one. Uh, wait. I'm trying to figure out the TV puzzle mechanic thing. Do I turn off this TV now? Can't really get to the TVs that are up. I wasn't sure if I could swing across on that. I, I thought so initially. But I tried again. Okay. What's a mail here? Delivered. Nope. Not a fan of that mechanic. Not a fan of that mechanic at all. So there, it's kind of different from the lights of the monsters that we were dealing with they need a TV on not move still just as creepy first game had me climb way too many uh, refrigerators for me to not know to do that And I kind of see how fast that monster moves after I turn off the TV, right? I got it. Oh God. Gonna be worried about me? Is she gonna be staring at this TV? I gotta, I gotta see. Look at her. Watching the second TV. So as long as there's a second TV, she's not worried about me.
What an interesting mechanic. <laughs> I love it. Great idea. So much ingenuity in this one. Uh, the first game, I mean, was great, but I mean, nothing about it was like, you know, n not if it was very original. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying, like, all the little mechanics and stuff were very much like basic, you know, platformer adventure puzzle kind of stuff, you know? Like, it was. It was all unique and special, but it wasn't out of the box necessarily. I wondered about that. Man. Wish I had nine. Help me up. Just like in awe of it, you know? Not even like... Man, it's not even a thing of like... I'm scared right now. I'm just like... Enamored with the concept. What's happening. Great. I love it. Whole different feel. From the hospital. I mean, I still had a lot of lure I was figuring out, but... <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. Why? These are definitely monsters. Too big to be human. But what is causing them to do? I don't know if I want to turn this one on. Yep, I was wondering. I was wondering if jumping through that TV was going to be my death. 110%. Man, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not very, being very entertaining. The game is entertaining me like crazy. Um, hi! Goofy boy here. Oh. Is it trying to get to the TV that's in this area? Yeah, I think that thing was gonna very much go for me. It's still its face? What happened? Why are these monsters the way they are? They're almost human. They're almost human. Which makes me very upset because it's like... Are they human? They're very tall. They're very much closer to the size of monsters. But at the same token, that doesn't mean anything. Because what if these kids are just really small? That's hilarious that the flashlight mechanic became the uh you your TV remote mechanic. There's the eye. Okay, I see that I need to use the eye to use the elevator right. I have not seen any gnomes. Now wait a second. Wait a second. Rain blast again. Found out that the gnomes used to be children, right? In game one? 
that the case? So if that's the case, the gnomes were children that were turned into gnomes by the owner of the mall, that woman, right? Did that gnome end up getting off all the way from the mall? How directly connected is the mall to everything happening here? I want to know so much more. Also intrigued. Elevator starts to collapse. I know I have another way out. Weird that there's an elevator. Weird that there's a TV in the elevator. The only thing I can think of. Wait, if I drop in here, I'm dead. I was like, Ash will catch me. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I know why. I was right about using the TV to teleport. I just had the timing way wrong. into that room did I even try it is there even a reason to try to get into that kid's room saw what I was talking about I'm thinking it's a bonus let's do it it would require me to kind of go fast you know what I mean here we go up and at um at um mats Hope you guys are enjoying my let's play, Avi. I know. Uh, <laughs> not I'm new to this, to video games in general. But I'm having so much fun, and I hope you're having fun too. Okay? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, let's go back and eat. <laughs> back to here. Let's get through here real quick. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know if I could even have done anything there. Pull me through this. Yeah, that is what I'm supposed to do. It's it's not a bonus. It's like literally, that's what it wanted me to do. I just I just jumped down too quickly, so he hurt himself on the way down. Totally, 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 totally. Let's try some voices while no one's here and I can't annoy anyone besides the YouTube viewers that are watching. How does, um... Alright, let's try to get back onto that elevator and go upstairs where we need to be. Sometimes I wonder about harmony. If we're all harmonizing and no one's harmonizing, harmony is important and free. I don't know what I'm doing. Rup, 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 rup. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. I know what I'm supposed to do. I just added it. <laughs> I could effectively cut out part of this during the uh, 
the final YouTube video. Either a timing thing of like you gotta land it such a way where you don't hurt yourself. I mean, I may be doing this all wrong. Maybe I don't need to like run and gun like I think I do. But I, I'm pretty positive I'm on the right path. Um, Caleb, cut this part out. Unless he doesn't. Thing is so tight. Kitty. Um, I'm positive. Positive. That's wrong. Oh. Won't even let me re-enter this door that I've come through. That took me out of the game. Hey guys, so this is the first time I'm trying this puzzle. Definitely not the 12th or 13th. So, uh, sorry for the weird cut there. I, I had to go do other things besides spending 15 minutes on this puzzle. But, you know, on my first try, I think I'm going to totally knock it out of the ballpark. Let's see. Pretty messed up. I want to I want to see something real quick. So I drop down here. Oh, there's a there's a hole to go into. Oh. Oh. Now here, can I just walk through? 110% can just walk through. Hey guys, try number 2. Definitely not try number 14. Or possibly I may have lost count on a on another plane of reality. That is not this. It's clearly this is chai number two. Commenter down below. People lurking and watching. On Twitch, I can't lie. <laughs> On Twitch, it's a live stream. There's, there's, uh, so, um, I, I'm sure they will, uh, would agree if they weren't lurking. But this is 110% try number two. And not try number 15 or 16. I'm... I'm just saying 15 or 16 as a goof, as like a gaff, you know what I mean? It won't let me in there! That should have been literally perfect timing. That should have been perfect timing. That should have been perfect timing. An idiot. An idiot. literally went backwards. I literally went backwards. I was thinking of it as a call lever to call an elevator to a certain floor, not as just literally the elevator lever. So stupid. I spent so long. <laughs> hey guys, third try was the charm. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? So here we are progressing. <laughs> 
Yeah, that timing was like so tight. I was like, how do they expect like players that aren't booking it to make it? Because literally there's just a huge open gap to go the other way. If I had used the elevator to go back down, I would have realized that immediately. And fried my brains out. It's cool. Par for the course. That'd be quite interesting. Did I make that jump? I don't think I can. Did I make that jump with the help of a stool? Okay, a little too close. Yep, I understand. You're upset. Understandably. You have the right to be upset. I didn't dare to make that jump. I just wanted to try it. Let's put the original hat back on. Try this. <laughs> Tried the entire electrical grid and the TV in the process. What a lousy replacement for nine. Oh. peeing dog that means something that have lore relevance I gotta throw out the electricity and like gotta piss off all those monsters the TV over there. Hoping to step on the button to ring it. I uh, probably could have. It's room. Creepy toys. It's not a kid's room, and it might be. It almost looks more like a toy shop, but I guess it is just a kid's room. I got it. I was definitely going the right way, I just make this. Also makes sense. Never mind. Maybe. 
Seems like a timer. But, uh... Quite confused as to what I need to do here. Let's just give myself a chance to be able to jump across there, right? I gotta get the power back on now. What if this room dramatically changed between my second entry? That would be a good little horror, little horror thing. Wouldn't make any sense, but. I have no idea where that second TV is. Wow. My death. More rain. I don't know why I ever take off my uh, rain hat. Uh. Uh. I don't like this. Is that a new hat? But it was. It was in the past tense because I may have lost my opportunity to grab it now. Here's an issue, right? Everyone's standing at this little thing. They're staring at that TV. Now. I thought they were going to start tearing down the gate just to look at the TV. Now, they start tearing down the gate. Yeah, I don't understand the mechanic at all. Uh, I think they're less worried about the TV and more worried about me now. Watch those! Watch the TVs! Don't knock them over! <laughs> Dang. What has happened here? What are they going through, you know? Goodness gracious. I think I unlocked a DLC level too. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's not good. I got it. Blushy. Why wow, you're so tall? Hi. Just like. He looks like the average American father, right? You know what I mean? Like, he looks like a twisted version of Americana TV. And I'm wondering if that's the whole point.
I want to stop the episode so that I don't accidentally like I don't know get to the episode. I severely doubt I'm at the end, but I think like this game's very long. Great. I just started moving that uh duel instead of oh jeez. Teleportation is not quite fair, you know. Why would I do that? Hey, that's why. I. Yeah, everything slowed down. What is this thing? Is it behind everything, or is it just like the aftermath of it? Getting further away. Holy crap. I want to say I doubt he can follow me, but no booking it, you know. Yep. Okay. Well. Wow. Awesome. Don't like it when he takes the time to walk. Makes me more anxious though when he takes the time to teleport. Ah. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cancel it on for a second. Should have just kept swinging. Should have just kept going through my swing. Um, this is definitely not the finale, so I'm uh, going to get past this guy, and then um, I'll stop the stream in the episode. Definitely the way to go. To you! What's he gonna do? Can he follow me? Very real possibility. Where's this thing going? Holy crap. version of nine different than the other glitch kids not quite as there as the other ones were but also leading me or if it's more with probably more of a thing of like is this the finale We get to a stopping point. I want to stop the episode here and then find out I'm like 10 minutes from the goal. Most likely those are like visions of nine leading me where I need to go. The way she was walking, more like a memory. Or like walking along the tracks, right? That this takes me where I need to go, there's a possibility that she's But most likely it's just uh gonna take me back onto the street and it is just memory i'm all the closer all that much closer to the tv station oh 
But is he the reason the buildings are collapsing? Take off my hat. Can't swap hats. He know me? Why I take off my hat? What's happening to me? What's what? Holy crap. Holy crap. It's the TV mechanic. Oh my gosh. The whole earth is shaking. This is awesome. I'm afraid this is like the finale. It won't be because I mean I still gotta go back and get the other glitch kids and see the true ending and whatnot. But like, I think we're just about to have beaten the game. bring ourselves to the uh, to the TV tower which is also related to the visions through the TVs I got my hat killed probably another chap right seemed like he was the bad never thought he was the big Into is a big ink now. No, 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 no. Whatever's going on, we are not about to figure it out quite yet. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Be sure if you're watching the YouTube video that you like and comment down below. If you're watching Twitch, thanks so much for hanging out with us live. Thanks to the lurkers right now. Thanks to people that watched earlier. Thanks to people that go back and watch the VOD. Definitely be watching this on the YouTube channel. Until next time. Literally wild. I don't even know how to like process my emotions right now. I'm just gonna, it's gonna <laughs> mull it over a bit. Bye everyone. Boy. And unfortunately, this stream is over, but we'll see you very soon. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. We really do. Seems like we're just begun when, when suddenly we're through. Unfortunately. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. For now, it's time to go. I really do hate to say it. But hey, I say. 
Well, that's okay. That is. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Yeah, super soon. Very soon, I know. Ooh, get it. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Goodbye. And tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Hey, love, robot, and the Brobits crew. And you'll we'll be ready for you to come and stay. Let's play another day. Bye, guys. <laughs>